when Ambare took to her YouTube to tell her side of the story about that very embarrassing scene that went down between herself and her so-called co-wife, Amira. I, we were sort of confused and sort of, you know, taken aback because now Faith Macau is talking about how she contacted a one Pastor Gladys. Not even Sheikh Mohammed. And we just like, we thought this had told us she converted to Islam so that she and Jamal would be husband and wife. Like, ma, what's happening? And did Pastor Gladys just encourage you to go and find someone's used rib to make your own rib? I was confused in yeah, life. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. Here we go. Sari Podcast, brewing entertainment, honey. What's up, welcome back. welcome back to the home of entertainment commentary, justest, freshest entertainment commentary. Mgambari Chigogo is my name. This is, of course, the report card, the readers, gang, gang, gang. Make sure that you subscribe so that you do not miss out on this juicy commentary. Come on, baby. So, Amare decides, let me, you know, take to YouTube, make hay while the sun still shines, and tell my side of the story about what really went down between myself and Amira on that very fateful, embarrassing night that Amira decided to accost me in my company. I came back a bit late, and uh, my husband was already at home. So, I was at Nilimpata Kwa parking lot. So I said, let me funga the gate. So I funga the first side of the gate. When I was fungaing the second side of the gate, ikashika kitu chini. So it was a black bird. When I saw the bird and I called him and asked him, because he was just there. And uh, I told him, what is this? He was like, just take a picture or a video of it. Because he knows how spiritual I am. And uh, I have my pastor. Her name is Gladys, so he told me, make sure, please call her. And that's what I did. Nikachukua Simon, after the videos, I called her. Don't forget, my son is asleep upstairs. So, of course, Aneza Sikia, what is happening? Notice how Faith Macau keeps insisting. She keeps insisting that my husband was here. My husband is, my husband coughed, my husband laughed, my husband sneezed, my husband ate. Like everything is just like, I need to get it in your thick skulls that this is my husband. I'm not going to call him by his name because we don't do that here in this house. That's not how, you know, wife number two or the concubines operate. And her talking about Atisi Jui, oh, I have a son who was sleeping upstairs. It's just like, it's the hypocrisy for me. What scriptures is Pastor Gladys reading from then again? Pastor Gladys just told you, go ye child and wreck somebody's home. Go ye be someone's second wife. Even, you know, maybe she was like, even Sarah co contracted a concubine uh, for Abraham. So it's okay. Ah, I was confused. Then, now, the same person talking about Pastor Gladys, the same person who was hollering insults at those women, you know, in the name of self-defense or whatever, because I'm sure somebody, someone will be like, so what did you want her to do to just sit back, relax, and not say anything? So, same person, we catch her at this event. <laughs> I love it, yeah. Shaking what her mama gave her, shaking her waistline like it is for the streets, baby. And I don't know, I don't know if now this is what like the modern day wives, this is how the modern day wives operate. I don't know, I don't want to judge. I, I, sh like, that's like, wow, look at her going. Look at her going. And that's what, like, you see, it's for this exact reason that we are tired of your hypocrisy. One talking about that Pastor Gladys. Hmm? And you talking about how you've been how you're so religious, how ABC and they just rubbish nonsense. Then number two, we see you here at this event. I think that's like an event that she was part of the organizing committee or something. Shaking it up! Show me this and entertainment of a big you, Zembe. And guys, what like whatever, you know what, your karma is coming. 
whatever it is you know you went there to ruin this person's home is going to come to an end and uh, i just looked at this and i was like i don't i genuinely don't think amira would even have the strength to do this and if we are looking at it in that very conventional very orthodox way of doing things i i but okay fine anyway let me let me not be the one to judge because right now like so let's just okay fine let me let me just let me just drop it but i think bringing this subject closer home guys first of all um i remembered when amira said she's she's in doubt that uh, Faith Macau and Jamal are actually legally married. And I'm beginning to believe it because we've not even seen, we didn't see, we didn't see anywhere that was that this this babe and this man signed to say that we are legally married. Um, we didn't come across anything between these two people. Um, you know, clearly showing us, so clearly showcasing that, yes, this is my husband, this is my wife. Other than the fact that they keep calling each other husband and wife on social media and everywhere else. So... And the fact that this baby is still talking about Pastor Gladys and then the husband or whoever that man is now, Amika's husband, encouraged and was like, please call Pastor Gladys. And I know, I know some of you are going to come here slapping me. They're going to be like, you know what, I'm going to but it just does not make sense i honestly i would not even be surprised if this thing is just for show business like if that man became an opportunist and was like you know what i will do whatever i have to do in order to be ahead or to stay ahead of the game mr shanka by the way lot i'll not be like so you mean he was using this hand all this time i will not be surprised so let me know in the comment section down below if you at some point were like it's the hypocrisy for me or if at some point you were like oh they're talking about pasta like pasta who pasta what like you're talking about a pasta and the things that you're doing are not really correlated and yes you know that's what we do we be judgy yes because it does not make sense that somebody to be talking about a pastor somewhere and then only for her to come back and behave in a manner likely to suggest that my life is for the streets and pastor gladys just needs two hot slaps on her cheeks i swear i don't care whoever you are my pastor i'm you my coffee to my willy moto i'm sure everybody because you just like you you saw this come and you're like come on in baby cakes have a seat you know be wife number 50 of this man. Nobody really cares. Nobody's really tabulating that. So anyway, uh, subscribe if you've not. Hit the notification so that you do not miss when I post and upload. See you again in the next brew.